Thank you, Zyrene. Very honest interview there. I do, oh. lo yeah, I do love the fact that he has a, a fan, a, st a streamer inspired, you know, so, item build there. Freak and I had a very good discussion about the merits of Gunblade and Blade of the Ruin King. Yeah. Where I was saying that if you're more peelable, the auto attack benefits of Blade of the Ruin King would not outweigh the leap strike and spell damage from Gunblade. Apparently, you just vote on it. The answer is Stropple. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Just, you guys are getting way too heady about this. Just throw up the, I mean, they, okay, to be fair, they did have the 30 minute discussion. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, was, it, was an, it was an informed yeah. straw poll. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get into the game, though. It was a really good game. It, it was. was a very good game. It was a lot of back and forth. There was some solid play from both teams. Um, I just I, I have to I have to wonder as Kobe was kind of touching on there at the end where Coast goes from here like what do they learn from this game and the loss? I mean it's it felt like a matter of cleanup because the first 30 minutes was played about as you expect right we break down the game okay they're a better early game team their lanes were typically winning man Impaler and Jess's that partnership was awesome they pushed down a couple of kills they invaded the jungle together they picked out porpoise pops a couple times together all this control four dragons uncontested great okay then you got picked off once or twice then you started misplaying the team fights when it came down to the your sort of your two chances to win the game it's it's you clean up the moments where it's like well don't don't screw that fight up yeah i thought it was a I, I, first off, I think Coast will be fine. They've played pretty solidly in three games, save for a few bad decisions here and there. Yeah. Uh, this game in general, though, was a very rare moment where a late game team with really nice mobility and an early slash mid game team with objective control reached very close points of intersection, and we saw a lot of clashes. And it, yeah. it, it seemed to waver right on the line of breaking for a very long time, which made it a really fun game to watch. Yeah, some pretty solid uh, dragon control, rather, um, for Coast, having mm -hmm. four. Yep. Didn't quite secure that fifth, unfortunately. Yep. I do want to jump into a replay. Do, do, do you have a uh, point? There's only one small breaking point, which is that the, the top lane matchup broke so heavily. There was one really big point, 25 minutes in, where Kelly Troll solo pushes two turrets without getting stopped by Chris. And some of that was the matchup itself being so miserable. Part of that's just a pretty bad miscue mid-game. That was such a big surge in power that allowed him and the rest of the team with the Global Gold to actually fight for that fifth dragon so well and win those kinds of battles. I do want to jump into a replay, uh, yeah, just because we have a couple of them. So we're going to yeah. go 28 minutes in the game. Um, we, we see Maple Street pick up a double kill in the Baron, and the Baron seemed to be a source of a lot of the chaos in this game for both teams. Yeah, or for Coast in general, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> true, across their other games as well. Yeah, this was a breaking point in the game, though. We can just jump right into the clip, because at this point, we knew it's a mid-game team that is trying to secure a victory earlier on. And Maple Street, it's great to see it from his point of view, because I want to touch on how he didn't have any hesitation with this. It's not like he smoke bomb first or wavered in. He saw a person, he's like, I'm alting. They're probably a Baron because he knew there weren't going to be many people there. Like Baron at that point in the game does take you fairly low. And it was that split second decision making that saved teammate that Baron because they got two kills and they were able to pick up the Baron afterwards. Mm -hmm. If he would have hesitated even the slightest, they either bail out the back of the pit or they'd take the Baron. And it's really funny too because the exact same call was made for Baron number two and it backfired miserably where yeah. he's like, well, we don't see all of them, we don't know how low Baron is, but we gotta try, even though I'm the only guy there. And, and that's what happens when you let's make- Let's do it, let's, we got that replay, oh, so great. let's jump into that yeah. one. Let's put it <laughs> up right there. And this, this, is, this is what's so clever about League of Legends, is you have so many partially informed decisions. We could roll the clip out right here, and you just take a gamble, sometimes right, sometimes it's not. Right here, though, what they really should have tried to do is kite left. They've got Jarvan, and Cassie coming in just to the left, just at blue buff right now. The problem is they get caught and they run away towards Ari, towards Jess who comes in here and eviscerates everybody. And look, there's the backup right there on the screen. There's the backup they could have tried to run to. The, the gamble of stopping Baron, of course, is gonna be tricky no matter what. Um, but the way they played the second half of the fight, I think could have been a little bit cleaner. At this point, yeah, they're diving in a bit hard. There's what, a bit of the, yeah. the bit of the suicide syndrome, like, oh, we already invested three lives into it, we have to keep going. Yeah, the weird thing is I've seen so many fights where you give up two kills and stop Baron. This is just nice by Jess, it's like, this is just awesome. But I've seen so many fights where you give up two kills, but it stops Baron. Because the damage dealt was enough that the other team's like, yeah, you're right, we can't. And that was almost what happened here for teammate. Like, again, it's these, like, slightly uninformed decisions where it almost breaks the one way. Of course. Not the case here, obviously. Yeah. Well, I don't necessarily think they could have made an informed decision uh, to know exactly where Ari was. Like, no. they probably thought Ari was in the Baron pit, which is why Maple Street was coming for that angle. But, it, like I said, that was another breaking point mm -hmm. of the game. And that's why this was such a cool game to watch. Like, that was a moment where Teammate had just stopped 
the dragon. Yeah. Right. And Coach was like, "All right, we have to go for Baron." And teammates saying, "We have to stop Baron." Right. Uh, when they actually didn't have to. They did What we ended they're... up seeing, but I, I still don't think it was a bad call because they thought they were a stronger team fight. No, not at all. And then there was, the was actually a, play that, there was a fantastic call by Coast off the yeah. backside of that to actually go to, for the inhib first yeah. before yeah. before retreating yeah. back to Baron, which was great because you wouldn't have been able to do it in the opposite order given their health bars. So I do have to say some redeeming you know factors in that game for yeah. Coast. As you said, there's debt. I'm not worried about them either. I think that with a little bit of polish, the team can definitely come back in fighting form and pick up some wins. Uh, we do have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because up next, Cloud9 will look for a win against the undefeated Team Liquid. You're watching the NALCS. the quick draw, a few more shots, one more bullet. No, he cannot get it to hit. Go for, go for Maple, go, 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 flash out, flash out, flash out. I'm gonna turn it first, I'm gonna turn it first. Going Jax, first. Jax, Jax. Oh, I got one shot. Go Jax. I hook, I hook, kill him, kill him. Jax, 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 nice. This is the fight that both oh, teams Maple. want here. Jax just comes in, Maple goes down. Dodo's gonna get wiped as well. Oh, Bash make oh, it do with the binding. what a play from Dodo, that could be it. Does it seal the deal? Oh. 